Two of them are the mRNA vaccines, uh, uh, Pfizer and Moderna, and more recently, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which used a different uh, technology and method for vaccine preparation. So those are the three vaccines uh, currently that I'm aware of that are uh, uh, authorized for use in the United States. The overwhelming opinion of the um, experts that we've talked to have said that the vaccines authorized in the United States are permissible to use, um, that, the, that none of them contain any pork products, um, and um, that they're um, all been um, made allowable for, uh, for Muslims to consume. Um, we've consulted with um, scholars um, in Islamic ethics and jurisprudence, and the majority opinion in the United States, um, nearly a consensus, is that um, getting the COVID vaccination while you're fasting does not break a fast. Um, it uh, does not have any nutritional value. It's an intramuscular injection. It is, it is compatible with keeping a fast for Ramadan. We've been able to have conversations, sometimes very frank conversations between uh, imams, physicians, public health experts, and others to say what needs to be done, what's our common message, what can we agree upon that our community needs to hear. And what I've seen personally, even in my own uh, regional uh, city and town, is that there's been really good communication, sometimes through message boards or, um, or social media. Um, at the local level where uh, mosque leaders and nonprofit leaders are sharing their best practices, saying, well, this is how we're dealing with um, prayers in the mosque. This is how we're making sure that vulnerable parties are not coming um, together. This is how we're enforcing uh, wearing masks and social distancing. This is how we're dealing um, with um, uh, breaking the fast where we would normally be having large groups, but now we're not. Maybe we'll do a drive-through iftar. Um, this is how we're dealing with um, Eid. And we've even had really clever approaches like mosques uh, requiring QR codes um, before entering, almost like a boarding pass to make sure that people have already registered and they've agreed um, to um, you know the basic guidelines of that that facility and institution holds.